Hey everybody, Joe Venorni, Cherry the Geek TV. We are here at the 19th Annual Omaha Film Festival with Joshua Jones, who uh, is the producer and star of a fantastic new uh, documentary called Texas Music Revolution, uh, which just screened at the festival. Uh, Joshua, uh, tell us, tell everybody watching who you are, what is your day job, and how does that day job uh, come into play in the, in the documentary Texas Music Revolution? Sure. I'm the general manager of a radio station in Dallas, 95.3 The Range. I do a little consulting on the side, but uh, the first year of my radio career, I made the terrible decision to book some bands and sell some tickets. And I did it on Texas Independence Day, exactly 28 years ago today. And that became the first ever Texas Music Revolution Festival, which is about to celebrate its 28th installment. So this documentary uh, takes place during the 25th anniversary of the, of the Texas Music uh, Revolution Festival. Uh, I had read that uh, originally when you were going to go about celebrating this 25th anniversary, you were thinking at first maybe this would be a coffee table book. Uh, but then uh, suddenly uh, decided to change it and, and do a documentary film about it instead. Talk about that uh, journey. So, yeah, so I wanted to do, a, I just wanted to do something special to commemorate the 25th anniversary. And, you know, like we, uh, like I told the audience, uh, I realized quickly that a coffee table book was a bad idea just because nobody carried a phone, I'm sorry, a camera in their pocket prior to 2006, 2007. And then, um, you know, with the invention of the iPhone, it became uh, it became it became a thing. But all the first ten years of photos we have are you know were shot with like uh, Kodak disposable, you know, the old yellow cameras. And so I thought, well, maybe we can make a documentary. And my idea of a documentary and the finished product of the actual uh, movie we made are two completely different things. I would have had sort of a low budget your uncle's holding a camcorder in the corner of the wedding uh, uh, chapel video uh, and I luckily was able to bring in Troy Path and Brandon Ferris and Kiefer Sutherland and some people and and honestly this is I've been writing their coattails this entire time but I'm really proud of the documentary and how it turned out but it's solely because of those guys and their involvement in it. There's a lot of fantastic musical performances in, uh, featured in the film. Tell people who, uh, who are some of the people that are featured in the documentary and, and, and do these wonderful uh, performances. Absolutely. Well, um, Ray Wiley Hubbard, who is a, uh, um, an icon uh, in Texas. Uh, there's a lot of Ray. There's a lot of Charlie Crockett. There's a lot of Joshua Ray Walker. And if you don't know who these people are and you like country music or you just like music in general, you've got to start downloading some of their their tunes. Kiefer Sutherland, uh, we met through music and uh, there's a Kiefer performance in there. Um, you, you'll get introduced to bands like the Derailers and the Ottoman Turks and uh, yeah, there's there's something for everyone. Speaking of the Derailers, uh, one of the, the, the storylines in the documentary is uh, you uh, hunting down your your off the grid, fr a longtime friend, to, uh, uh, Tony uh, Villanueva, who was uh, one of the founders of uh, the group, the Derailers, he disappears. Disappeared 18 years earlier, and uh, been off the grid. Uh, you're trying to find him to come back for this uh, anniversary, uh, and you guys have a great, uh, great moments in, uh, in the film. Talk about your friendship with him, and and what hit, what finding him, and and then his inclusion in the film meant to you. Yeah. So, like you saw in the movie, or you've seen twice in the movie, the uh, finding him wasn't easy. We literally had to hire a private investigator. Um, and then g getting a return phone call was uh, even trickier than that because Tony's the kind of person that when he closes the door on a chapter of his life, he doesn't revisit it. And he has no interest in, in revisiting that. And, um, uh, and so, you know, finding him was very difficult. Connecting with him on the, on the, um, on the phone was even more difficult. When I asked him if I could fly to sit down and visit with him, uh, he had to pray about it for two weeks. And it was, it was I thought, oh, man, I am, uh, I like prayer more than most people, but man, I'm getting um, exas, uh, exas uh, I'm looking for the word, um, exasperated uh, by the process. And I think, you know, that maybe that's human nature, but, but uh, finding him and reconnecting with him, I think is one of the best parts of the movie, 
but it's also probably one of the best parts of my personal life in the last three years. So uh, the film's been been out there now. It's been playing a bunch of fe- music, uh, movie fest, film festivals, music film festivals, uh, Woodstock Festival, uh, Catalina Film Festival. You're here today at the Omaha Film Festival. Uh, if people want to see this amazing film, where, where can they see it uh, in the near future and, and, and then a little long term down the road as well? We will be uh, at Amdocs in Palm Springs in a few weeks. We will be in, um, at the Florida International Film Festival uh, in mid-April. We've got a premiere, a uh, Texas premiere at uh, DIFF in late April. I don't know if I'm allowed to announce that yet, so I apologize. Uh, and then there are, uh, we hope to be streaming uh, on, on all the streaming platforms by uh, late summer, early fall. Well, the film's called Texas Music Revolution. It's fantastic. Uh, seek it out. Uh, this is Joshua Jones. Joshua, thanks you so much for Thank chatting you. with us on Cherry the Geek TV. Stay tuned to Cherry the Geek TV uh, for more coverage here at the 19th Annual Omaha Film Festival. Marking. Country music is storytelling. Um, I get a sense of where people were coming from and where their families had been. And country music specifically is American storytelling. Texas Music Revolution 25. We're really excited about this year, downtown McKinney. A lot of radio stations are happy to slap their name on a music festival. We book the bands, we make sure the lights and stage all show up, but there's no other music uh, festivals I know that are solely produced completely in-house by a radio station. Country music can be uplifting, uh, almost like gospel music, and it can be heartbreaking. Tony Villanueva. I want to find him and personally ask him to come up here at the 25th anniversary of the music festival, I just, I have no idea how to find him. I haven't seen him in probably 23, 24 years. They said he'd quit and he'd join a mission or something. Country music specifically, those stories had a beginning, a middle, and an end. What we do, we do country, but we also do rock and roll. Uh, it's from Texas, you get a feeling, you feel good with it. It's right on the edge of kind of country and rock. If it doesn't make you want to f- or fight, don't bother. Well, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, guys. Charlie Crockett has been pushed to 10 p.m., still going on on the main stage. Can somebody go to TJ Maxx and give me some dry pants? I gotta get Tony on one song at nine o'clock. It's a hard thing to imagine because you are nervous that that the audience that you're so scared of is actually there to support you. Charlie Crockett. My experience at that festival was one of the first times I really acknowledged that they were on our side, that they wanted us to do well. And you get an audience like that, and you'll go to the ends of the earth for them.